Hey everyone, excited to be back in this week's edition of People Ask Questions for Commercial Real Estate, coming to you live from Salt Lake City. I'm actually here for a leadership conference. I'll be serving in the capacity of vice president for my local CCIM chapter, and we are here for a leadership conference to learn about the role, uh, meet other leaders across the country, and then just share best practices to help make our chapters uh, operate at a very high level. And so I'm excited for the curriculum. We're actually going to be starting uh, today. I'm recording this on a Sunday ahead of our uh, full length meetings in the next hour or two. Uh, but before we dive into this video, I wanted to share some insights pertaining to a question that I've gotten asked many times from people who are either in the residential space and want to transition into commercial or really individuals who are just getting into the, to the real estate industry and they're wanting to know what the best course of action is. And that is, is it okay to do both residential and commercial real estate and still operate at a high level? So before we dive into this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now you've done that, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive right into this episode. All right, so the question is, can I operate in the residential space and the commercial real estate space when I jump into the industry or maybe I'm already in the industry and I wanna operate in that capacity? The, the short answer is you can absolutely do so. Uh, in most states, I, I can't comment on all states because I don't know the, the laws in all states, but I know for a fact in my state and several other uh, states that my friends operate in, it's there's one real estate license to sell real estate. And that's it doesn't delineate between residential and commercial. So you can, in fact, sell homes and also sell commercial property at the same time. So as far as the legality of it, you, you can operate in that capacity. And I've actually met several uh, commercial and residential agents. The, the, the term is called resimercial agents that operate at a pretty high level. So to say that you can't do it is definitely not the truth. And I want to make sure you guys understand that it is possible for you to be able to operate in that capacity. Having said that, I do have maybe an unpopular opinion regarding uh, you know, the industry itself. I think it's better if you really want to pursue commercial real estate to, to jump into it full time. The reason for this is because you can scale a lot faster if all you do is focus on one thing. Uh, there's a book called uh, The One Thing by Gary Keller where they talk about this exact concept. If you were to focus 40 to 60 hours a week working in the commercial real estate capacity and all you do is look at comps, build relationships with uh, commercial owners, um, you know, network with the right people in the industry to help support your clients the best of their ability, and you do that full time, you'll be able to scale a lot faster than individuals who do it on a part-time basis. Maybe you're operating in the residential space and you're selling homes to, to families and you're doing well at that and you only do one or two or three deals or four deals maybe a year, um, you're not really going to be able to build that base of clientele that's going to eventually allow you to support a full-time career in commercial real estate. And so um, what I often tell people is that if you truly believe that commercial real estate is the route you want to take, it's almost better to bite the bullet and really just go full on into it and even though the first few years in commercial real estate are tough, I mean, I, I talk about it in my, my videos all the time that, you know, I had to draw my first year, meaning that I was getting paid by my brokerage, but I had to pay back the draw uh, with the commissions that I generated. But if it weren't for the draw, I would have made $13,000 my first year. So it is not, in it. it's very difficult to, to manage the first few years. Uh, I think the second year I made like 40, the third year I made just over 50 or 60. And then finally in the fourth and fifth year, which is my, I'm currently in the fifth year, uh, you start operating at a relatively high level and you're making a lot more money than you thought you would eventually make what that you would make when you first started in the business. And so um, that's, that's usually my recommendation to people. Sometimes I, I get pushback saying, Hey, you know, you can do this and you, you, you should be able to do both residential and commercial real estate. I'm of the mindset that if you truly want to operate at a high level, meaning you want to get in the top 10% of your industry, you really need to focus on it full time. And, Granted, there may be some difficult times in the beginning, but in the long run, you'll be thankful that you took the leap of faith and made it happen in that capacity. So hopefully I, you gained some value from this video. I'd love to hear your all's feedback in the comments. Uh, if you guys are in the operating in the commercial real estate space, if you guys have any other advice you could share with the listeners of this channel, uh, obviously we'd be greatly appreciative. Along with that, if you guys are in the commercial real estate industry or wanting to learn more about the commercial real estate industry, this channel is, is a great channel to be able to do that. Feel free to like and subscribe. It really does make an impact on the YouTube algorithm. Ensures more and more people can hear this message. Along with that, if you guys are looking for commercial real estate in the Louisville metro, southern Indiana, 
really we're starting to operate in other capacities and we're on a regional basis, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 502-536-7315, or you can reach me via email at rafaelacrasanti Thanks again so much for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.